the gross. last time I was thrown like that, it was an ex, and it was kind of out of the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for throwing that in there. Call me. Ni hao ma to that figure skating show. It is week four, mm. Mm. coming to you from Cup of China. Two and a half bronze medals, almost a bronze from Keegan, third in the free. Pair bronze, dance bronze, and a quite a predictable ladies event. I was honestly, I've become desensitized to quad butts. Yes, they're boring. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, let's start with the pairs. Gold medal, Sway and Han. Silver medal, Peng and Jin. Third medal, Charlie and Lubov. Let's start at the top. Let's start with Sway and Han. They were sway, sway too good. Right off the top, he like plays the accordion with her at the beginning of the program. I... In the free program. <laughs> <laughs> it's super interesting. Incredible. They keep innovating the and like, I don't even understand it. Every time they like touch the ice, like even their cross gets look to me like they have meaning. Yes. Um, I always try and compare pairs to ice dance and like the closer a pair team is to ice dance, the more I'm like drawn in. Yeah. And they're very much of that quality. Their attention to details throughout their transitions, how smooth and in sync they are through those transitions and the emotion they both feel is just amazing to watch and palpable and like time stops. They have incredible elements as yes. well. Technically speaking, some of the best in the world. Their twist is always strong, high levels, high GOE. Their throws are enormous. I think Jeez. she could probably clear his head if he were to stand underneath one of their throws. The last time I was thrown like that, it was an X and it was kind of out of the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for throwing that in there. Call me. On a side note, I do miss seeing some quads and pairs. Mm -hmm. Quad twists, quad throws. I understand quality comes first and, I, and I'm and i a proponent of that, but I do miss seeing some quad tricks. You're right, like watching the pairs event, there's definitely that missing aspect of like, yeah. how far is everyone pushing themselves. And they're themselves way out in front, them. they can afford to try it, you know? <laughs> Lubov and Charlie, in such a short amount of time, they've developed a connection, their lifts are, some of the best in the world, if not the best in the world, in terms of creativity and innovation. Some issues with the jumps, they are still new. Some issues with the throws and the free too. They definitely looked like it was more work this time around. Mm. That being said, it's their second Grand Prix. They've been thrown into the thick of it and they ended with a medal despite the mistakes. Be interested to see how they move forward. They're not going to have enough points to make the final, but moving into nationals and prepping for that how they develop with more time to train and get used to each other on the ice. Agreed. Mm. Mm -hmm. We're quite the pair. Yes. <laughs> and shall we one, two step to... Yeah, let's dance on over. The ice dance. Mm. The dance. Mm. So first place was uh, Sinitsina and Katalapov, mm -hmm. followed by Ev Evan and Madison in second. And in third place were Fournier, Baudry and uh, Sorensen. Their second bronze medal on the Grand Prix circuit this year. Let's start off with them. Two strong performances. They really nailed it in the technical side for their short dance. Uh, I think scoring their highest that they've ever had, which was 78. And it was actually a very well strong, skated program. That's a strong score. Yeah, yeah, it was a really good score. There's a lot of connection with these two mm -hmm. and consistency. You don't really see them ever flat. If a mistake happens, a mistake happens, but they always bring it. They always deliver on their performance side of things and draw you in with their connection. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see if they make the final, mm -hmm. but Two medals on the Grand Prix circuit is That's fantastic. a huge uh, confidence boost, especially going into uh, nationals and most likely worlds for them, obviously. Maddie and Evan, absolutely scintillating. Mm, uh, I yes. actually really, this the program- The snake, the free, in case you didn't get that. <laughs> this I program did. has really grown on me. Like, actually, <laughs> <laughs> I think they're really primed themselves to probably, depending how they do at nationals, obviously, maybe, uh, take the top spot again but uh because i really enjoy this program. well and they almost took the top spot here you know they mm. won the free dance by, by like, a decent margin yeah. it was close in the end overall and i thought they were actually going to take it uh i it think they really did close too but yeah. they punched their ticket for the final um they look great good job guys last but not least ketsalapov and sinitsina i actually want to first mention that how many athleisure suits does he own? Every always year, got some he sort always of, has a different jacket. Some sort of functional blazer. And that's like always open, yeah, it's like loose, like, it's like I got- an Outfitted by Kitten Ace. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like I have a skating event at yeah. four, but- They're I, like, all jersey knit. <laughs> but a casual dinner at like 7.30. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> From the short to the free. Yeah. It's <laughs> really just a day in his life. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad, they fit you really well, bro. Lovely skating, uh, very powerful. 
their twizzles are like spectacular and fast. Uh, they're not really utilizing the, uh, the connective steps and the uh, rules where you can touch, where a lot of teams are really utilizing that choreographically. In between the twizzles? In between the first and okay. second twizzles. So, but they make up for it with the incredible speed and attack on them. Okay, let's move on to the men. Third place, Matteo Rizzo of Italy, Han Yan from China, and uh, Bo Yang Jin from China. Han Yan, he's back after a two year hiatus uh, due to shoulder surgery. Uh, and I honestly didn't realize how much I actually missed his skating. Han was anything but Yan. Yeah. You know, he, <laughs> he took his quads out, um, but there's this new maturity about him and calmness. The guy has so much power and speed, he almost can't handle it sometimes. <laughs> and, uh, I think it was a smart move to like dial him back a little yeah. bit and, and emphasize the quality he does exude with his speed and the size of his jumps. Yeah. And I, I really like the way he's looking. I really liked his uh, free program. I liked program. Han Solo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, it just you, came to it me. It was honestly perfect. Yeah. It was okay. perfect. Moving his on. free program that was uh, choreographed by Kurt Browning and Yuka Sato, and you could definitely see Kurt's influence, especially throughout the uh, choreographed sequence. He's got like, you know, his Hans in his pocket throughout. It was really good. <laughs> but I, his, his connection to the music, I totally bought it. His skating is so soft and nice, which is rare to see sometimes in the men's event. And yep. so it's really appreciated when you do see it. And I do agree him like pulling back on the technical difficulty and winning a silver medal. Yeah, it's his... working for him. Bo Yang, nice fall in the short. <laughs> he, he nearly landed on his chin. <laughs> But that quad lutz to open the free was incredible. Huge. He had so, oh my God. That, that was the quad lutz that when he first started doing the quad lutz and sh shocked the world with it, that looked like it. Yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm interested to see how he progresses this season. He's got a, a ton of technical difficulty in his program, both programs, mm. um, and he kind of has the ability to just knock them off like they're nothing, and he also has the ability to kind of crumble uh, yeah, very absolutely. rapidly. So the almost bronze medalist in the men's event, third in the free, Canadian Keegan Messing. He had uh, a bit of a messy short, mm. um, you know, no quad, double axle. Free was a lot better. He fought for some things. It wasn't an easy skate, but he was without his signature hat in the kiss and cry, giving a little shout out to Nam. The hat's in Toronto with Nam. Nam, I'm gonna need that hat back. I don't know if Nam took it, if that's some sort of competitive he's stealing tactic. Other, yeah, you know, like there's there are mind games happening your break, here. Keegan. Not very Canadian, <laughs> but you know, get that hat back. Get that leaves only Nam uh, as the Canadian male skater that could be in contention for the Grand Prix final. Keegan will not be able to make it given his placements, mm -hmm. uh, so he's got some time to rebuild and get ready for nationals. The women's event, it happened. It's pretty predictable. Sherbakova. Quad Lutz Queen, first place. Mm -hmm. Satako Miyahara, beautiful skating, second place. Uh, third place, took to Mayasheva. She dazzled with those triple axles. It was it. good skating, it was, it was just predictable. It was just predictable. Have we become desensitized to Quad Lutzes? Yeah, from 100%. Little... Sherbakova, she was more flawless in her short program. In uh, Skate America, she had some mistakes on the jumps and uh, footwork. Here, she was just clean. Flawless, scored Almost amazingly. boring, like yeah. almost too <laughs> easy and casual. Just looking. quad lutz in your face, whatever. She's great. Uh, Sherbakova got a teddy bear that's probably three times her weight and size. Yes, uh, yes. The stuffed animal game was super strong in China. Yeah. There were so many different types of stuffed animals. I've never seen anything like that. Very, very, very interesting ice cream cones. Um, the Spider-Mans were everywhere for oh, Boyan yes. Jin, as expected. Mm, I love those stuffies. Uh, that's it. That's all we have for that's China. Uh, did some nice skating this week. <laughs> Make sure you check us next week for episode five, Cup of Russia. It's gonna be an incredible women's event, their strongest yeah. event. Comment below about what you think about what's going to happen and how you feel about technical versus artistry in the women's event moving forward. What, what do you think? We might not touch on it. We might not think it's valid, but you could try. It's worth it. Put your comment down. Yeah. I might read it. We might not, you know. But subscribe <laughs> because, just, I mean, we're pretty awesome. We're pretty awesome and we're just trying to get those views. Yeah, up. we talk the talk and we walk the walk. <laughs> You're welcome. Later, guys.